These grips are fat, like seriously fat. Just look at how big these grips are. Even Sir Mix-a-Lot would love these grips. These are significantly thicker than most grips, and because of that, they can provide some great comfort. But there is a serious problem with these grips, and we'll get into that here shortly. These grips are made from silicon, which honestly, I just thought these are made from foam. Whatever they are made of, they are actually really nice to use out on the trail. And because you're holding onto a grip that is 37 millimeters big, there's actually about 10 millimeters of grip that is absorbing all the impacts your hands would have otherwise been abused to. Some benefits I found out is that these grips reduce hand fatigue quite well. And they're only really second to maybe the rev grips, in my opinion, in doing so. And for those who like to ride gloveless, these are really grippy as long as the conditions aren't wet. However, as soon as the grips get wet, you will absolutely have to put gloves on because the surface of the grips just become super slippery. Because these grips are made of 100% silicon and are basically just foam, they're super light at just 110 grams. Even with the included bar ends, they're pretty minimal. And the install process, however, is not minimal like other grips. Installing the grips can be quite a bit of a pain. And as you're basically just sliding these grips onto the handlebars, using some isopropyl alcohol makes this quite a lot easier. I use the alcohol mainly to create a slippery surface to get the grips on. But when the alcohol dries, it doesn't leave any residue. Residue can actually cause the grips to continue to move and slip even after you've installed them. And as you can imagine, the last thing you want going through a rock garden is for your grips to be moving on you. Now, herein lies a really big problem. If you need to take stuff off your handlebars like your shifter or your uh, brakes, the process is quite difficult since you will need to rework the grips back off before you can actually uninstall anything. Okay, so now to address the real problem with these grips. The durability of these grips are pretty decent. However, if you crash or are prone to crashing, these grips are not gonna survive. Due to them being made of a foam-like material, any strikes to these grips is likely to take chunks away from the actual grip itself. While I haven't ran into the problem as much on mine, I have had friends just absolutely destroy their grips after a crash here in the Rocky Desert. Even looking at the edges of mine, you can see chunks missing. So if you crash a lot, you might want to look at maybe a normal style of grips. Thankfully, these grips only come in at $27, unlike these $90 grips right here, which you should check out. 